for medical image processing for converting your 2D image stacks, 2D DICOM data to be specific uh, from uh, maybe from MRI, CT, or, or all modalities of CT, MRI to uh, 3D models for uh, various applications. There can be there can be applications for uh, simulation, 3D printing and uh, implants design, surgical planning, vast uh, amount of uh, number of applications uh, there can be for 3D models after you have converted them from MRI or CT images. So uh, as for my profile, I have, uh, I'm working here as an application engineer from past two years. And uh, uh, before that, I was working with uh, uh, very various kinds of CAD softwares, CAD packages, and uh, <clears throat> Uh, next, I would like to uh, introduce you Dr. Kareem Gain. Uh, so he is a business development manager at uh, Synopsys Group, Synopsys Simpleware Group. Uh, he manages the global sales team, partnerships, and in, is, is involved in technical marketing content development. Uh, and uh, I'll just uh, move my screen. Hello, my name is Karim Gench, and I'm the Business Development Manager for Simpleware Software at Synopsys. And I will be giving a brief presentation on the Simpleware Software solutions, going from 3D images to models for things like 3D printing, surgical planning, and patient-specific workflows. Thank you for having me for this presentation. Now, to start off, I'd like to give an overview of uh, the Simpleware product group within Synopsys. So we are developers of high-end 3D image processing software, and we have dedicated sales, support, and services teams internationally with a global presence. And we work with customers in clinical life sciences uh, primarily, and then in areas such as materials and manufacturing. And we have a global presence uh, with our main center of gravity within the UK, with folks in Germany, Southeast Asia, uh, in India, uh, the US, and South America. So what does the Simple Board product group offer me? I'd like to start off with looking at patient-specific surgical planning. Uh, and an example on that is where it's based off of preoperative uh, C CT or MRI scans. So this is where you can do things like take preoperative virtual measurements, uh, carry out virtual planning, example of resecting bones virtually, checking the fit of implants and things like that. And also 3D printing, where you can obtain a physical model of a patient's anatomy for pre-surgical planning or training. So the idea here is to cut down on intraoperative time and improve clinical outcomes. Looking at patient-specific device or guide as an example, uh, this is also a similar workflow going from uh, a patient scan of a CT or MRI. Uh, it's also you can generate patient anatomies, checking fit and form of uh, devices, where you can also tailor the device guides to the patient requirements. So, for example, incorporating uh, uh, patient-specific design into your workflow, connecting with CAD tools such as SolidWorks and, and fitting that into your workflow. And then also you can do things like exporting volume meshes for simulations for in silico performance uh, or in silico clinical trials. So the idea here is to find the perfect fit for your patient. So we have a lot of different applications. On the left, you can see more of the consumer products, consumer electronics areas, uh, protective gear, wearable electronics, shoes, clothing. So a lot of these types of companies who do simulation or design based around human anatomy uh, use simpleware to gain access to realistic uh, patient-specific geometries. And on the right side here, you can see things such as implants or guides for uh, uh, and, and for pre-surgical planning anything with a patient specific workflow where you need to go from that image to a model and feed that into your workflow, whether for 3D printing or, or design or simulation, you can do physiological simulations and on the bottom showing some 3D printing. 
So looking at our software, so what we do is we offer uh, a software solution that goes from images to models. And it's a GUI-based high-end 3D image pl processing platform, and it provides a comprehensive range of tools for things like visualization, filtering, segmenting your image data. You can see the GUI interface on the right. You have the three orthogonal views of the image data and the 3D reconstruction on the bottom right. You can uh, uh, bring in the CAD geometry, uh, position it, um, yeah, label different parts, different landmarks, things of that nature, and export models from there for CAD, uh, 3D printing, or even finite element or computational fluid dynamics modeling. So uh, uh, really going from the image again to the model uh, uh, and bridging that gap. And then anything you can click within the script, the, the software you can script uh, within Python, C Sharp, Visual Basic, and you can automate quite a bit of the workflow through macros and, and things of that nature. So what does the software do uh, going from left to right here? It does measurement and analysis, segmentation, processing of your da image data, generating models, uh, 3D image import and visualization, CAD and image integration, and then again, scripting and automation of your workflow. So these are all the different areas where the software can help you going from the image to the model. So getting a little deeper, looking at 3D image import and visualization, this is where you can import the stack of DICOM data, which is typically the type of clinical data used, uh, where you can visualize your model, do things like volume rendering and, and things of that nature, and do, do, do basic image processing. Um, segmentation is a big area uh, of concern in this area where it can be a bottleneck, but we have a lot of tools from completely manual to fully automatic uh, tools. For example, here this shows the 3D editing tool uh, that you can use uh, uh, for the segmentation process to, for example, split out the femurs and the pelvis uh, from each other from the segmentation with a, a few simple clicks. Uh, we also have automatic segmentation tools, so AS Ortho, AS Cardio are tools we have where we can use machine learning based AI to fully automate the process of segmenting the hip from CT, the knee from MRI, or the heart from CT as well. So this is segmentation and landmarking. Um, and so this is just a closer look of the knee MRI mod, uh, results and the hip uh, CT results. And then this is an example of when we applied the automated tool to uh, 4D cardiac data. So we were able to segment each time point uh, automatically uh, in, in just a matter of minutes. And then this was an example of a, of a little animation we put together. So this is unprocessed, uh, not touched by a human, just simply imported and segmented. And these were the results um, automatically. So for example, here, uh, this is that uh, uh, 3D image paintings, the, the, the split merge tool. So you can automatically paint and split these tools, uh, split these sections from each other. So there's a whole host of segmentation tools that are available, different types of measurement and analysis. For example, here showing the bone mineral density or fitting a sphere, measuring these distances between them. Then there's the CAD and image integration. So you can import a CAD geometry into the image space, position it uh, and uh, do your design looking how your device fits, doing measurements, angles, things of that nature. For, or for example, here we have a, a group that did modeling of the foot with the shoe. So they imported the CAD geometry of the shoe and fit that over the foot. Then also we have a new tool called Design Link. So we have direct linkage to SolidWorks. So you can uh, push and pull information directly between the two tools. If, for example, if you have the two windows open, you do an edit in one, push, pull, it'll bring it back into Simpleware and vice versa. Then the most important part for most people is the model generation. So this is uh, the model that you export either an STL, 3MF, uh, CAD uh, in, in a NURBS step or IGES file, or a volumetric finite element mesh for tools like Abacus, ANSYS, Console, if you want to do multi-physics simulation. And for example, here is the bone mineral density mapped to uh, 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 the model based off of grayscale and showing it in the color scale. And on the right here is a multi-domain model um, of, of the human thorax. And again, as I mentioned, everything that can be clicked can be scripted. So you have full access to the API. You can go do a macro recording uh, uh, showing here. You can convert the log of each uh, step that you've completed, convert that into scripting. Um, so those are the ways you can build the scripts. Um, you can also build plugins. So actually your own buttons within Simpleware really make the software your own based off of your workflow or a fully customized solution where we can pull in our R&D team and help you generate some fully customized solutions. So 
the advantage of Simpleware is that it is state-of-the-art technology, has robust and proprietary algorithms um, with very good segmentation tools. It's very easy to use. <coughs> Excuse me with a user-friendly interface and, and it can be customized through scripting. And then our support is, is top-notch where we have our application engineers ready to help you and provide support to, to you and your engineers as you uh, bring the software in and, and start to deploy it. And we do have some re regulatory certifications. So for example, we have ScanIP Medical, which is uh, FDA 510K cleared and the CE marking as well of the tool. So if you want to try Simpleware for yourself, you can go to our website and get a free 30-day trial. You can receive a fully functional version of the software product. You can contact our support team for any advice or help uh, to set up your workflow. You can also arrange a personal demonstration of the software um, via WebEx. You can send us your image data. We can show you how to go through the workflow and, and produce the models that you need. Uh, we have a whole host, a whole library of, of model of uh, videos on our website where you can download the data sheets as well uh, to get information there. Or you can contact, contact us directly, uh, simpleware at synopsis.com, and we'd be happy to, to route you to the, the appropriate person or account manager to, to help you uh, with this tool. So uh, really, um, I'd like to end it there and just end with a summary uh, as a take-home message that Simpleware software are, provides a solution to convert 3D images into models. Uh, the type of 3D image could be uh, MRI, CT, or magnetic resonance imaging, or computed tomography, or even different modalities from that. Any sliced uh, 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 image data over a 3D space is the type of imaging. And then when I say models, it can be STL or 3MF for things like 3D printing, it can be CAD geometries in the step or IGIS format, or it can be fully volumetric finite element meshes. And so these workflows are used for any kind of patient specific workflow uh, that can be uh, used. And then if you want to scale it up, we have, as I mentioned, our automated uh, machine learning based uh, uh, artificial intelligence tools where we can do apply it to the hip CT, knee MRI, or heart CT. But in addition to that, we can also do a fully customized solution for any anatomy. So if you have a large uh, scale of uh, image data that needs to be processed, we can provide solutions for that to fully automate that process. So with that, uh, I'll leave it there. And um, I uh, uh, thank you for allowing me the, the chance to present at this conference. So, um, okay. So uh, that was uh, Dr. Karim from Synopsis. So that must have given you a better idea about what this software does and what are its capabilities. So uh, to quickly in, um, show you how this uh, processing is done, I would uh, like to show you a small video, which will uh, show the demonstration of the software. So let me just switch again to the. So now I will show you a demonstration video of the software. And uh, although uh, this uh, application may not be relevant to everyone, but uh, I assure you that all the, all similar applications have the same kind of workflow throughout uh, uh, the image processing part. So this is a very common um, workflow. So now we started by importing our DICOM data. We can have a look in the DICOM preview. Now we are just doing some background volume rendering to see what data we have imported. Applying some crop function to it to select our region of interest. Then some basic image segmentation. So now we have segmented the bone region. We are using a very uh, easy to use split regions tool to split our regions into separate masks, separate parts, and applying some 
filters to it to smoothen the surface. Uh, now these are some of the basic 3D editing tools for uh, working around with our uh, geometry. And this is an example of how we can uh, import and place an implant into the model for checking its fit and uh, positioning it, which can be later used for uh, doing simulation for uh, load bear analysis or uh, uh, finite element analysis for uh, load strength. So this is the finite element mesh, volume mesh, which can be later exported for uh, simulation purposes to uh, check the, you can say, uh, efficiency or variability of the implant. Apart from this, the software can also import uh, models for 3D printing purposes. You can uh, add your own internal uh, lattices into the models, uh, which would provide support as well as reduce the raw material requirement while 3D printing. And uh, later on, uh, you can export that model as a STL file uh, for uh, the 3D printer softwares. Now, uh, if there are any questions uh, at this point, I'd like to... Okay, so so our software has uh, various modules uh, in it, which enables you to select or customize your package based on your requirement. So the modules start from Scan IP, uh, CAD, NURBS, so various other modules, uh, ranging to simulation modules as well. So uh, the scan IP is our base module, which allows you to do uh, segmentation with uh, lots of available tools for that. And uh, obviously that is not possible to show you uh, in this uh, demonstration period uh, because uh, it would take, uh, it is a more, it, it can be a more uh, dedicated session uh, for that purpose for showing you how the software GUI looks exactly. And uh, the latest uh, addition to our software is the design link module, which can be very helpful to lots of uh, the presenters which are pre who are present here. And uh, what it does is that it links scan IP with SOLIDWORKS CAD package, and that allows you to synchronize your models from SOLIDWORKS. So let's say uh, you are designing an implant in SOLIDWORKS, and uh, then you want to check uh, the compatibility with the 3D model. So you can import your CAD, uh, CAD model into the software and uh, make some changes in SOLIDWORKS and those changes will be reflected directly in the software. So that is a kind of link that is being provided between uh, this uh, Synopsys uh, Simpleware software and uh, uh, SOLIDWORKS CAD package. And another additions, uh, very important additions to our software are, are the automated solutions. So what those modules are is that uh, they are machine learning algorithm. Uh, they are machine learning modules, uh, which do the complete segmentation automatically. Right now, uh, the available packages are for knee segmentation from PD weighted MRI scans, uh, cardiovascular uh, um, segmentation. So as we know, the segmentation of the cardiovascular system can be a very complex process and very time consuming process. So uh, just to give you an example, uh, expert user could take around three to four, four to five hours for doing the segmentation of the cardiovascular system. And the automated system does it well under uh, two minutes. And that is a significant amount of uh, high value engineering time that has been saved uh, at that point by using these uh, automated solutions. And uh, similarly, uh, the same process is for the knee segmentation. So if you are working in batches of uh, uh, knee images, so you can utilize those modules for doing automated segmentations by just importing the data and uh, doing the segmentation uh, completely automatically and later on uh, exporting it for 3D printing purposes or simulation purposes or uh, surgical planning purposes. Um, after that, we have uh, AS Ortho, which also includes um, 
also includes your pelvic region segmentation. So pelvic region segmentation can also be done completely automatically. So sometimes that can, that can also prove a very um, tough task to do in a short amount of time. So just to give you a benchmark idea. So an expert user takes around uh, 30 to 40 minutes for doing the segmentation of the pelvic region accurately with the smoothings and um, applying all the filters. The automated solution takes around two to three minutes for uh, doing this automated uh, solution based on machine learning and deep learning algorithms. Similarly, the knee segmentation takes around two minutes for uh, the segmentation from the pediatric MRI scans. So right now there are these three uh, uh, sections for which machine learning algorithms are available. So uh, apart from this, Simpleware also provides you services for generating your own uh, machine learning algorithms. So let's say you are not working with cardiovascular systems or hip or pelvis region, and you are working with some separate uh, anatomy part. So in that case, you can work with the Simpleware team to generate your own machine learning algorithm for uh, automating your uh, uh, tasks, which require a lot of time. So um, you can automate your segmentation part as well as export part also. And uh, as Dr. Karim informed in his presentation, whatever you do with the mouse can be automated using the scriptings. So you can just write, uh, just drag and drop and your, uh, the, 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 the operations that you have done, the processing that you have done will be converted into a Python script, uh, which can be later imported into a software and just uh, you can run it in batches to uh, work through uh, various uh, various uh, data sets. So as most of the uh, participants here are mostly related to 3D printing and uh, orthopedic uh, uh, orthopedic area, orthopedic application area. So uh, I would suggest that this uh, you uh, have a look at the software. We are also presenting the software in our booth. Uh, we also have a booth uh, in this presentation, so you can uh, come over to our booth to have a look at the software. And uh, if you provide us some time, we can later on also uh, schedule an online demonstration with you to showcase our software and capabilities, uh, whatever capabilities are available, and how this software can be beneficial over other softwares that are currently available in the market. So as I informed, you can visit us at the booth uh, of our uh, integrated microsystem. So uh, to uh, to summarize, we are the authorized distributor. Uh, we are the representatives for this software, Synopsys Simpleware uh, in India. And uh, we look over the sales and support of this software in, in, in our country. So uh, other than that, these are some of the ways to contact me. And uh, I'm available at these methods. So uh, you can uh, have a look at it. And uh, if you require any uh, any kind of assistance in similar uh, area, if you are looking for some uh, medical image processing solutions, so uh, you can contact us. Uh, and we will be happy to provide you your answers. So uh, thank you, everyone, for uh, joining today. And uh, I hope to see you in our booth as well to discuss further of the departments. So thank you very much.